Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another grain to glass video. Uh, this one, sorry, I've got my uh, party tap from my keg. Uh, this one is going to be, well, this one is a, a triple B, I've called it, and it's my best bitter. Um, it actually came out a little bit better than the best, well, it's still, still best bitter. It came out 4.5%, but you're going to see, you'll see the brew, you, you watch the brew day now, then watch me pour the pint, and you'll see. The mistake I made, it's so obvious when you see the beer in the glass, because when I put it into the keg, um, it's keg conditioned as well, like a cask. And uh, I seen the problem straight away, looked at my nose and realized. So I'll go and pour that while you watch the brew day. And I'll tell you what I did. Typical brew day here, lovely rain. So in the grist, we've got freshly crushed Marisotta, Munich malt, Crystal 80, biscuit, flaked barley, and some amber, Crafer 2, and acidulated malt. So quite a lot of malt in this grain bill for quite a low ABV, ABV beer, which is going to be my best bitter. We've got some Pilgrim leaf hop, and then the rest is East Kent Goldings and Fuggles in pellet form, and a bit of Irish moss. minute pilgrim leaf fuggles 30 minute edition 15 minute fuggles and Irish moss in 10 minute East Kent Goldings 5 minute East Kent Goldings Well, this is flame out, and I've just added Fuggles and East Kent Goldings and forgot to press record. So, there you go, there's a cooling wart. So, that's what it looks like. Took it off a boil. It's going to let it stand now for about half an hour, then transfer it into what I class as my cooling pan, which I then put in the sink to cool it down. So, we've got the work cooling in the cooling pan in the sink with the bottles of ice. There's an example of the wort that's cooling. So, looks like a nice color to me. I'm quite happy with that. So hopefully when it's fermented, it's gonna be a nice beer. Okay, so there we go. There's the beer in the glass, and straight away, you can see the problem I've got. There. Now that looks absolutely great, doesn't it? I mean, I poured a bit too much, I've not even got my head down. Um, but, that's not clear. That's not gonna clear up, because I used verdant yeast, which verdant yeast will stay in suspension in a beer. That's why Verdant's beers always look cloudy. And I use a Verdant yeast in this bitter by mistake, instead of using the Windsor yeast. So I noticed that as soon as it finished fermenting, I checked it before. Give me that. That's the light telling me I've got to use the wrong yeast. <laughs> so yeah, keg conditioned, wrong yeast. Let me go for a taste. 
will taste fantastic. It tastes like a proper best bitter. Absolutely fantastic, it really, really does. It's just a shame that the appearance is so, so poor. But it's only for me. I've got 10 litres of this. I did brew a bigger batch, it doubled up actually on this because I wanted something nice and nice, best bitter to have uh, on tap. So I'll rebrew it and I'll use the Windsor yeast. And when I rebrew it, I'll send out a couple of bottles because I'm not going to send out any bottles when it looks that hazy because he used the wrong yeast. Um, like I say, come out 4.5%. Um, hopefully the video tells you the uh, ingredients that I used, um, but it was quite a few uh, different malts in there, Pale Munich, Crystal. I'll put the percentages in as well for people. And the yeast I use, I use a Pilgrim for bittering. Then I use Fuggles and East Kent Golding for flavor and aroma. Um, and yeah, it's it's not a bad bitter. It just used the wrong yeast. So, please a bit, enjoying it. Caramel, toffee, bready. Them hops are just giving it a slight hedgerow note, which I wanted. Don't want anything hoppy in my best bitter at all. Just wanted to balance the sweetness. It's doing that. It's leaving a little bit of bitterness there but it is just so, so drinkable. I'm really pleased with the actual malt bill. I'm just gutted about the, what I did with the yeast. Uh, but it was a, it was, what was it, a mistake, but it's a good mistake because it's still very drinkable. It's only because it's cloudy and that's the only reason. If I had Windsor yeast in it, that would be clear and looking great. It just doesn't look the best because of the wrong yeast. So there you go, there's my Triple B, best bitter, Green to glass. Hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, comment below. Happy to share the recipe. Like I say, this is only a small batch, so I'll give the percentages out. Hopefully I've already done that on the green to glass. I can't remember what I've done on that. Um, but like I say, any questions, yeah. But to me, that's decent. Okay? Cheers, and I'll see you on another one.